the worst thing that you could possibly do is just put it out and in a broken form and have gamers mad at you. You know, uh, <laughs> see CD Projekt Red for how that turned out for them. What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So in the age of delays in, you know, delivering broken games, it's nice to see when a game is going to be delivered on time and in good condition. And it looks like Spider-Man's voice actor, Yuri Lowenthal, let the cat out of the bag and we should be getting Spider-Man 2 on time. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that, we're sitting at 392 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. We're currently making a hard push to get to a thousand subscribers before the year's up. So if you're watching and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, we really appreciate it if you did. Thank you. Now I have the article pulled up. Let's take a look. And we'll talk after. So this one's also coming from PlayStationLifestyle.net by Zarmina Khan. Spider-Man 2 PS5 motion capture and voice over all done, says Yuri Lowenthal. Uh, Insomniac Games and Sony Interactive Entertainment have been mum about Marvel Spider-Man 2's uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 PS5, but fresh comments made by Peter Parker actor uh, Yuri Lowenthal suggest that the game is well on track to release later this year. <clears throat> Lowenthal recently held a Reddit Ask Me Anything session for Skybound game Homestead Arcana, or Arcana, which unsurprisingly ended with fans asking him about Spider-Man 2 instead. <laughs> when asked if he was still doing motion capture and voiceovers for Spider-Man 2, Lowenthal responded that the work was all done. He didn't specify whether he was talking about his own role or the full game. However, given that we're heading into May, Insomniac is probably wrapping things up. Uh, the last time Lowenthal commented on Spider-Man 2 was back in January this year, when he revealed that he still had a bit uh, had a little bit of work left to do. Uh, this latest update should come as a relief for fans concerned about a possible delay. Uh, Venom actor Todd, uh, uh, Tony Todd previously teased the September 2023 release window for Spider-Man 2, with journalist Jason Schreier later confirming that he's heard the same from his uh, sources, although this doesn't have any bearing on the sequel. The, oh, yeah. <laughs> the first game also released in September. Uh, now, honestly, I don't want to throw any shade to anyone who is putting their games on delay. Um, the worst thing that you could possibly do is just put it out and in a broken form and have gamers mad at you. You know, uh, <laughs> see CD Projekt Red for how that turned out for them. But all in all, I'm super excited for this game and I cannot wait for it to come out. The first game was absolutely amazing. The Miles Morales expansion was dope. So I'm really looking forward to that. And they're going to have Venom in the second one. So my gosh, come on now. But that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or you found it informative. And don't forget to share it out. There should be another video popping up. And in the meantime, keep it casual. Peace.